Alright, how's it going guys? Got the uh, loot chest here. Now, I've done a uh, previous video about what came inside this. This is the uh, Borderlands 2 loot chest. Um, it's great and all. And it's full of everything right now, which I'll empty. But the main purpose of this video is what I'm going to be doing is actually colouring it to make it look a lot better because in the actual picture um, of the loot chest, you know, it's supposed to look realistic and whoop, everything. So there it is there. All looks actual metal, metallic, like a loot chest should be from Borderlands. But this chest here kind of looks a bit plain, a matte sort of grey colour. Really sort of dodgy red tones for highlights and not quite the greatest. Now what I'm going to be doing is repainting it to make it look a lot more realistic. Now even on the front here these are pretty cool but after a while I think that I'm going to actually cut these fully out and install some LEDs or see what other light devices we can come up with to make that look a lot better. Now the paints that I'm going to be using are just some old paints that I found from Warhammer. Now we got some bolt gun metal and some mithril silver. Now it looks a lot more metallic than this so definitely going to use that. And I think I'm going to use the bolt gun metal for highlights and get some depth into all these little crevices. And then I've also got some tin bits and shining gold. I don't know if I'm going to use these for sure or not, but definitely got them here handy just because I might do a couple of highlights or make it even look a bit rustic as it should. Now I'm just going to start with doing actual mithril silver on the silver bits and probably just going to fully cover all this stuff up that's grey. So got it on the top there and all these sort of parts here. After that we're going to start with little crevices and scratches that we've got all around the actual chest. Even these little bolts here I could probably cover up with just the silver and that would look pretty good. Later on, that's when I'm going to start to use the bolt gun metal after the silver's on there. So I can do highlights and do some dry brushing effects. And I'll dry brush just to, you know, pick up all these scratches, which don't even look like real scratches. It just looks like dodgy manufacturing, which of course it is because it's made in China. But I still bought it. Now if you haven't seen the uh, other video of what actually comes with this loot chest, I'll give you a quick one. Got some uh, DLC codes here. So I think one of these actually didn't come with the Vault Hunters edition. And pretty standard sort of stuff to be honest. We got the case. Um, I got the actual metal tin case downstairs with the Xbox and just left this one in the loot chest. We got the Vault Hunter um, art and designs. So just all the concept art, uh, hard covered book. And also inside it I've put the certificate of authenticity. Just because it didn't come inside anything so to protect it. So we got we got these postcards here. There's multiple in there. Now this is actually how they come with this little one piece of paper to hold them all together. Whereas I saw some other countries actually got an envelope for these, so the Australian edition just came with that. We got a thin poster. It's pretty cool. We got a cloth map, which I still haven't opened yet because 
knowing me, it's probably going to get dirty as. But uh, I've kept that in there as well because there's a map in the game. Don't need to use that, but some people do like that sort of stuff. And then on the bottom, got some stickers. And got a field journal for Sir Hamelot. Which is the main sort of dude in the game. You meet him at the beginning. He gets you to do all these sort of quests about the beasts. Sort of people you can find and you'll figure out a lot about it but it's also good to see this is the actual book that he's talking about of making in the game or at least his journal journey of it journal but yeah so the inside of the chest isn't even actually that great you can't really store anything in there and that's actually why I kept this plastic bit is because at least I still get two layers worth of stuff in there after placing this this little square here also does contain, when you open it, the bobble head, which I've actually taken out and it's on display. It says that it also comes with an awesome box, which looks like the munitions box in the game. But it is just cardboard and printed on, so nothing to miss out on too much. Alrighty, well, just get all this shit out, and we'll get started. So all I'm going to be using is just basic brush for now. Uh, I've got a couple here. Yeah, just going to use a st standard sort of brush, because I don't have anything bigger than this. And just going to paint it with that silver like I said. A basic sort of coat everywhere just to cover everything up and I'm not going to film that because it's probably going to take a while and I'll just cut it a lot shorter for you guys so you just don't get bored obviously if you've got it and you're going to do this you'll figure it out pretty easily because everything that's grey or that looks like it should be metal paint it with silver everything that's red try and leave for now cool Alright, so I've finished the painting, it's been a bit, but this is what I've done. You can see it's all silver now, a lot better. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. I haven't done any small touches to it yet, using the any other colours, or the bronze and tin bits, but I actually quite like it like this. Some of the paint that I used actually was a bit hard, but I think it actually made it to the effect because now it's a bit got actually pieces in there sticking out. Um, these parts I haven't done just yet, but I will actually do those probably sometime later on when I'm not busy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, comment what you think is good and bad about this. Subscribe. And I'll start making more videos. Hope you guys like it.